Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here, and this morning I got a Michigan football recruiting video. Going to be going over some offers made by Michigan football to some uh, recruiting prospects in the class of 2023, including some recruits that visited this weekend from the 2023 class, and then also going over a couple of players that have started to emerge and have stood out in spring practices for Michigan football. Going to be getting into all of that in this video, so if you guys are new around here, I'd really appreciate it if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And other than that, let's get right into today's video. Alright, so I'm going to start with recruiting here. All these recruits are from 2023 class. And the first off we're going to be talking about is the Oklahoma recruit four-star athlete Micah Tease, the number 127 overall in the class and number tw 12 athlete in the class. Ron Bellamy and Steve Klingsheel from Michigan extended an offer to Tease on March 11th. Now, Oklahoma and Notre Dame have been very strong in pursuing Tease, and two crystal ball projection projections have him staying home uh, in st in the in his state and going to Oklahoma. So not sure if we are looking good to get him, but we did offer him. And then from Central High School in Alabama, four-star wide receiver Carmelo English, number 183 overall prospect and number 21 wide receiver. Now Bellamy offered him on March tw uh, 15th. English actually led his team to a state championship, averaging. 15.1 yards per reception on the season. Now there is no crystal ball projections. However, a couple of schools, including Auburn, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Miami, and Tennessee, uh, has offered him. Moving on from Fairmont Prep Academy in California, unranked tight end Collins Akiampong. Hopefully, I said his last name right. But he is six foot seven, 230 pounds. We offered him on March 15th, and obviously unranked on 24/7 Sports Composite Rankings. However, he has size and length to make an impact at the college level. He also has offers from uh, LSU, Miami, USC. So we'll see on him. Another guy who is unranked as well, unranked wide receiver Jaron Hamilton from Florida, uh, goes to PK Young or uh, Young. Um, it's pronounced Y-O-N-G-E, so uh, take that as you will. But um, so uh, yeah, he's received an offer from Michigan on March 17th from Bellamy, and also has offers from Florida, Boston College, Tennessee, Purdue, Mississippi State, and others. Six foot two, 178 pounds, so could probably stay in state, go to Florida maybe. So we'll see on that. And that is all of the 2023 recruits that we have offered. Now, obviously, those are only offers from March uh, made or offers made from Michigan since March 11th uh, to this date. But uh, now moving on to recruits that actually just visited this past weekend. So starting with the first recruit, a uh, five star athlete from IMG Academy, uh, Florida in the class of 2023, obviously 6'4", 230 pounds. Number one athlete in the class, number five recruit from Florida. Now he does have a crystal ball prediction going in Miami's favor. However, he did visit this weekend. Now he is being recruited by most schools as an edge. Mike Elston has famil familiarity recruiting him. Um, so five star uh, athlete, number one athlete in the class, Samuel M. Pemba. Right now, though, has a crystal ball prediction going in Miami's favor, so we'll see with that. Uh, moving on, though, four-star wide receiver from Springfield, Ohio, Anthony Brown. He's 5'10", 170 pounds, number 294 ranked nationally, number 38 wide receiver, number 6 in Ohio, according to 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings. There's no crystal ball predictions, um, however, right now... On 24-7 Sports, Kentucky is warm and everybody else is cool. So he he did was was originally committed to Minnesota and then uh, decommitted though. Opened his, his recruitment in February, and also has visited Wisconsin. Uh, is going to be visiting Michigan State and uh, Ohio State has not offered him at all though. All right, so moving on now, uh, four-star defensive lineman Deshaun Womack from Saint Francis Academy. 
in Baltimore, Michigan. Gets a lot of recruits from uh, that school. So also having St. Francis' former head coach Biff Pogge on Michigan staff helps too with the connection there. But he is 6'4", 255 pounds, ranked 237 nationally, number 37 defensive lineman. No crystal ball predictions right now. Um, so Michigan really could really get him especially with the connection to St. Francis Academy, so we'll see with that. Moving on though, four-star linebacker Phil Picciotti uh, from Penridge, Pennsylvania. Not sure if I said his last name right. I'm pretty bad with names, honestly. Um, but uh, yeah, so he is uh, number thir thir 359 overall, number 33 linebacker in the class. He is 6'3", 225 pounds and right now has a lot of crystal ball predictions going in uh, Penn State's favor, two of them to be exact. Um, however, this is his first uh, visit to Michigan, so hopefully M Michigan might make a move on him. But moving, moving on, got three-star offensive tackle Elijah Payne from Desert Pines, Nevada, number 435 overall, uh, and number 37 offensive tackle. Now, Michigan does, hasn't offered him yet, although that might change, obviously, after his visible, we'll see. 6'7", 285 pounds, has no crystal ball predictions yet, um, so we'll see on him, but he vi visited this weekend as well. Moving on, another guy that visited this weekend, three-star tight end Jackson Carver from Loomis Chaffee School in Connecticut. Uh, number 568 overall, number 29 tight end in the class, and actually he plays at the school where 2022 commit Alessandro Lorenzetti played. He has no crystal ball predictions, and actually he's from Indiana. Um, he also holds many offers from several Power 5 schools. Michigan has not offered him either yet, but seems like it will happen sooner rather than later. And the last guy from the 2023 class that visited this weekend was three-star tight end Collins at Jiampong, a guy that we just mentioned on the offer section of this video. Michigan offered him on March 15th, took a visit this weekend. Uh, three-star tight end, number 27 tight end in the class from Fairmont Prep Academy in California. Now, he's not ranked on 24-7 sports composite, but he is ranked on 24-7 sports as a three-star and again, 6'7", 230 pounds, great length and size, so uh, Michigan has a chance to get him. But those are all the recruits we're going to talk about in this video on the class of 2023. Moving on to the last section of this video, some uh, young players, obviously freshmen, uh, second year players, third year players even, and players that just haven't played in recent years really that much. Going to be going over a couple players here including obviously Will Johnson. He has been impressing Jesse Minter, our new defensive coordinator. Obviously, he did not recruit Will Johnson, so coming in here. And uh, Harbaugh said that he's been fantastic. Uh, everything you want in a corner in terms of length and movement skills, traits, fantastic. Now, on the offensive side, you got Greg Crippen, a center. Now, many people think that Victor... Uh, Aluatami, obviously the transfer from Virginia. Everybody thinks he's going to be the starter. However, Greg Crippen is making a case for himself. And uh, Sharon Morris of the center, his work has been uh, paying off so far in the spring. Another guy is Darius Clemens, wide receiver. Freshman coming in. He's been do doing good in spring. And Sharon Moore actually had to say this about all the Michigan's freshman wideouts. said, yeah, they've been awesome. They're fast. They're physical. They're strong. Just love watching those guys play. Still learning. Still trying to figure things out. It's going to take some time. I uh, just like it took Andrew Anthony some time. Uh, but said they're going to be very special. And then two more. Keon Sab, uh, defense defensive back, who has a good chance of seeing the field as well next season. Maybe even with... Will Johnson as well. Um, and also, Braden McGregor, the edge, has also been doing pretty dang good in spring practice. Mentioned him in my one of my videos talking about the defensive depth chart at the end of the season. And I had Braden McGregor maybe even starting this year for Michigan, so we'll see. But uh, he has been impressing as well at 
in spring practice so far. So that's going to be everything in this video. I'm uh, just going to wrap it up here for you guys. Um, talked about a little bit. I mean, I'm not obviously not a whole lot. little mix of a video. Not a whole lot going around with Michigan football right now. Honestly, not a lot, not a lot of news. Um, especially with Michigan basketball and all these athletics, women's basketball, hockey, wrestling, everything going on right now. So football right now, it's kind of been uh, pushed aside a little bit, I guess. But um, that is the latest news and updates around Michigan football recruiting and a little bit on spring practices and everything for for them. So if you guys did enjoy this video, hope you guys, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.